by saying the best way to use Siri shortcuts. I mean the best ways to run a Siri shortcut in 2021. There are seven insane tricks on running a Siri shortcut in this video. If you are here for how to use Siri shortcuts, or if you are here for some awesome Siri shortcuts, the links for those videos are in the description below. That said, let's dive in, shall we? Hi there, this is Mufaddal with Apple Vibes where you learn more about your Apple products. The best possible trick to run a Siri shortcut is through voice control. A simple example, if I say Bluetooth, I can easily turn off Bluetooth on my iPhone instead of just disabling it. For doing this, we'll head to settings, then accessibility, look for voice control here. Firstly make sure to enable voice control, then tap on customize commands, then on custom and tap on create a new command. I prefer to select an action first and then give a name. So tap on action, select run shortcut from here, choose a shortcut, let's say post to Instagram here. Now swipe back and set a phrase or a word. I'll say post for example, say the phrase anywhere on your iPhone and that shortcut will run automatically. But to be honest, this will drain your battery super fast. So again from settings, if you enable attention aware from the settings, it will still drain your battery but a lot less comparatively. Just try it out once is all I ask. Next is running a shortcut through Siri command. I mean it's really straightforward. Call out Siri however you do usually or check out my video on how to best use Siri. Now simply say run and then the name of the shortcuts. Let's just say post to Instagram again. This process takes at least 5 seconds extra than using voice control but doesn't drain your battery. Another cool way to run a Siri shortcut is to run it automatically through automations. In the automations tab in our shortcuts app, add a new personal automation, select an option from here. I'll go with app automation, select when the app is opened and then tap on choose. Choose a single or multiple apps. I'll search for music here, then tap on done. Now tap on next and add an action, search for run shortcut and tap on it. Tap on the semi-transparent shortcuts and select the most relevant shortcut, in my case it's change EQ. And next, disable ask before running, tap on done. So now when I open the music app, I can instantly change the EQ settings with it. By the way, if you are enjoying a subs and a thumbs up would be awesome. The iPhones which have touch ID instead of face ID, assistive touch is used a lot on those iPhones. The best part is we can run Siri shortcuts from assistive touch by either double tapping or long pressing or even have a combination of your most used shortcuts here. So in settings under accessibility and touch, tap on assistive touch and turn it on. Choose double tap or long press, scroll down until you'll find all your shortcuts. Select one of them and done. Now swipe back and tap on customize top level menu. Tap on one of them, scroll down and select a shortcut. Now keep adding until there are 8 shortcuts here. A convenient way to run a Siri shortcut is through back tapping. All we have to do is in back tap, select double or triple tap from here and follow the same process as we did in assistive touch. Now back tapping will run a shortcut. This is a common one but you can set your shortcuts as icons on the home screen and run right from here. In the shortcuts app, tap on the three dots and again on the three dots and tap on add to home screen here. Set a name or a customized icon if you have one and set it on the home screen. Shortcuts are mostly useful when you can run them within some apps. For example, I can copy hashtags of a post like magic by running the shortcut insta hashtags from the share sheet. Now to make sure the shortcut is enabled to show in the share sheet, again from the shortcuts app, Again the three dot settings and enable it from here. Also for what YouTube thinks is best for you, check out this videos as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Mufaddal. This is Apple Vibes. Take care and I will see you in the next video.